Hello and welcome, Nikki. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for giving up some time on your Sunday evening to talk to me this evening. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, for those people that are watching, um, I'd love for you to share your story about how you built your business, Love Autumn Rose. What kind of like inspired you to get a business up and running and how has it been over the years and what have you found challenging and what are your kind of absolute loves and passions about your business? Um, and I would love for you to sort of also sort of talk to us a little bit about, you know, why did you join Neil Shard Remedies? What, what made you do that? Um, and then we'll talk about all your amazing nominations and everything that's gone on with you, which is incredibly successful. I'm so inspired. So oh, I think um, I'm going to hand hand over to you yeah. to share your story. And um, I'm so excited to get to know you better and to learn all about how you grew Autumn Rose. So um, it basically started in 2020 during lockdown. I found that I was struggling quite a lot, like a lot of people struggling with my mental health. And it was probably one of the most difficult times of my life. And during that time, I found sort of learning more about crystals, essential oils. That was sort of what kept me going. And I found that they helped me through so much. And during that time, one thing that I've done to sort of keep my mind active was done a course in aromatherapy. Now, it was just one of those courses off voucher. I just I just wanted it more as like an hobby than anything else, just to learn a little bit more about something that I was really interested in. And when I finished the course, one thing that was on my mind was sort of starting a business that made like crystals, essential oils that sort of thing accessible to more people because I found that when looking somewhere like Google there's quite a lot of like long words that people that are quite new to learning about stuff like crystals essential oils spirituality that sort of thing there was quite a lot of jargon and I wanted to start a business at that time that based on like breaking it down and making it accessible to all explaining things in like layman's terms and ways that people could understand but back then I had absolutely no confidence in myself and I, I I'm just I'm just a common South London secretary and I was like if I start a business who's going to take me seriously so I sort of put it on the back burner for quite a little while but in my mind it was still there and there was still that part of me that was like I want to do this I want to do this but at the time I just didn't have that sort of confidence to actually go for it like a part of me was thinking it could all go wrong it could all go really badly what would people think would people judge me and that was like what put me off it for a while and in 2023 I got the mortgage on my flat and found the bills were going up a lot like the price of everything was just going crazy and alongside my job I wanted to do something like a little side hustle and I tried a few sort of companies here and there but nothing that sort of truly aligned with me and the only thing that was sort of on my mind at the time was I want to start this business I want to make this happen and I just thought if I don't do it now I'm never going to do it so it was October 2023 that I sort of gave myself that push to actually go for it and working full-time as an NHS tech Secretary. I was limited on the time that I had, but I found that I was using every spare minute that I had, like on the bus to and from work. I was watching YouTube videos and I had to build a business. I was determined to sort of try and make this work. So I was like, this is something that I really want to do. So I was watching YouTube videos. I was following lots of like people on Facebook about business, just sort of learning as much as I could in the spare pockets of time I had. So it was in November 2023, I thought I'm going to launch Love Autumn Rose. So it's still a fairly, sorry, 2023, 2022, sorry, 2022. <laughs> a year and a half it's been basically. So it was in November 2022 that I was like, I'm going to launch it. And when I first started it, it was just a plain website. It was literally a white background, no branding, because I knew nothing about branding at that time. It was literally just completely plain. But I was proud of myself for actually taking that step because it took a lot of building up that confidence to go for it. So I started that in November 2022 and officially launched it with just a few sort of little bits and pieces just to test the water. And the more people I spoke to about it, the more people were saying this is actually a good idea because they agreed that finding like information about like crystals, essential oils, that's really sort of broken down in layman's terms in a way that people can understand 
was helpful so when it launched it was like slow progress because I was doing it around work I was like using pockets of time throughout the day and yeah literally every spare minute on YouTube trying to learn more and gradually over time I sort of gradually built it up to get it to a place that I felt I was quite happy with so I learned a little bit more about branding about our different like branding sort of things work and yeah, last year I was nominated for the Women's Business Club Award. And again, this year, which is really like when I first got that email about that nomination, I was in disbelief because I was like, it took me so long to actually go for it and to have that belief in myself. So to achieve something like that was just unbelievable. So I was nominated for that. And then I got a few, I think it was a couple of months after I got another award nomination for I think it was Business Awards UK and that was a Women in Business Award I got a nomination for that so a few people was like my story is inspiring because of how long it took me to actually go for it and a few people that I've spoken to mentioned that they sort of had a passion of something that they wanted to do but held themselves back so they were like why don't you write to like magazines and things like that and tell them your story now I wrote to Death Life magazine just on a whim I was like no one's going to take this seriously but a couple of people have said do it so I give it a go and I didn't hear back from them for I think it was about six months something like that and I thought okay like nothing's going to come of it It, just doing it on the off chance and about six months after I got an email and they were like Nikki can we give you a call so I was like sure answer the phone I was like we'd like to feature your story I was like oh wow I was like okay like I'm more than happy to do that I was like because my aim is for more people to be able to have that confidence in themselves because it makes me think if I'd have gone for it sooner could I like the I've achieved more of in that time frame and yeah I just I want to give more people that belief in themselves because I held myself back for so long not having that confidence and that's something that I want to do with Love Autumn Rose is being able to help people achieve that and yeah recently I joined Neil Yard's Remedy because I feel like the products align so well with it like a lot of products that we do are based on essential oils based on crystals spirituality and I feel like it just ties in so well and they just align so well together and one thing that I'm planning on working on is like little bundles where I have some of the Neil's Yard products that can work alongside crystals that work really well with them. So at the moment, I'm still in the planning stages of that. But that's something that I am working on. That sounds amazing. I mean, I, I myself many years ago suffered with really bad anxiety and panic attacks. And um, my world felt really small and my confidence was rock bottom. And I too started a business. And it took me a good little while to really kind of go, oh, I, actually, I can do this. It's it is possible. Um, so it what your story resonates with me, because when you lack that confidence, you could quite easily just run and hide and go, oh, it's a dream for somebody else. You know, yeah. it's not a dream for me. Um, so like kudos to you for actually grabbing that opportunity and what I loved about your story which I think is really important and I think sometimes in business we're we're so keen to skip to the action to the doing to the selling to the making money that we forget to do the work yeah. and you know what I loved when you talked about like you listen to YouTube and every minute that you had free you were like researching and learning and how to do branding and how to do this and how to build a business because building a business takes a lot of effort and I think sometimes that effort puts people off doesn't it because you know we, we, we want results we're in a culture and in a time where we just want results yeah. um, so kudos to you for doing that because that takes a lot of I love this word gumption takes a lot of gumption and tenacity to stick to that dream that you had of creating something for yourself do you know what I mean a business a future for you so that in itself alone is inspiring let alone being successful <laughs> that's just like the cherry on the top um but I love that I love the fact that your idea was to kind of bring things to an accessible place because you're you're absolutely right you know as as somebody that's worked in the beauty industry and the health and well-being industry for a long time 
Um, you know, I've talked to hundreds, if not thousands of people over the years, you know, clients and people that have come and work with me or I've trained. And, you know, a lot of people say, you know, we it's not accessible. The, the knowledge isn't accessible. We hear things and we see things, but it's not easy. It's not easy to understand. <laughs> That's one thing that I found back in 2020 when I was like looking into sort of learning more about spirituality, crystals, things like that. There was information out there, but a lot of them, it was like you had to sort of join like things you have to join courses things like that to learn more which is one of the reasons why I done the world because was cost like I couldn't find that sort of information to learn stuff for free and one thing I do with Love Autumn Rose is blog posts that are completely free like there's no sort of purchase to access a blog post they're completely free on our socials the, so the, the socials like TikTok Instagram Facebook they're mainly focused on giving that education to people and fully breaking it down not using sort of long words that people that have like a lot of experience know but that works for everyone sort of thing yeah absolutely and you know what the very fact that you you lead with value is incredibly interesting because again a lot of people in business are they see business as a transaction give and take give and take give and take which you know fundamentally yes that's 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 at so, somewhere within the business model but to lead with value is kind of working from a real heart led position where your passion and your purpose is driving you forward to give and to share quite hard because I'm um, working a full-time job alongside running a little business it can be quite tricky but the one thing that's kept me going even during like the difficult times is the fact that I've got a true passion for it and the fact that I know that it is helping people and the people have actually emailed me and reached out and been like Nikki this has helped me a lot in understanding oh sorry one second sorry <laughs> I just Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm to ring you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think um, I think it's lovely when you get that feedback from people, isn't it? Because it kind of sometimes again in business, people think your validation is your income is, is the money that you make, but actually sometimes validation comes from where you've given value and you've shared something with somebody and you've helped somebody, and they actually reach back to you and say thank you. You yeah, know. that that really does. That's like a driving force for the business on days when I'm coming from work and I'm tired and all I want to do is like laser out with Netflix rather than sort of focus on business. When I get emails saying, Nikki, you've helped me, that gives me that drive to actually know that I'm helping people and that's what sort of drives me forward. Absolutely. And I love the fact that um, when you said about building a business, because again, a lot of people think that, building a business is, is beyond their dreams it's it's yeah. not for them because they work full-time or they've got kids and actually you know in we're in a we're in an age where we are surrounded by tech and you know if we can find those pockets of time in the day whether they're five minutes or 15 minutes like you were saying on the bus and you know probably yeah. on your lunch hour and stuff yeah. like that um you can actually still grow a business using yeah. those, like, power sessions can't you yeah, definitely, definitely. And that's one thing as well that I want to do with Love Autumn Rose is more people to have that belief in themselves. Like looking at me, I'm just a NHS secretary from South East London, as common as Mark. And people wouldn't sort of look at me and traditionally think, oh, this girl's the type of person as such that would start a business. Like you see it on TV shows when they're describing someone that's like run their own business. It's the complete opposite of someone like me. So that's another thing that I want to do with Love Autumn Rose is people to see that someone that's just a normal sort of working class person is able to achieve the things they want to achieve yeah absolutely and I think that in itself is is brilliant because it opens up so many more opportunities to so many other people doesn't it who think yeah. you know what I can only go to work I can only bring up the kids I can't live my dream I can't I can't work in in a in a business where I feel passionate because I just don't have the time I just don't have the ability and actually you're living proof that if you can find those pockets of time be it 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes 
and you're prepared to put in a little bit of work and do the research, you can learn the things, you can do the things and you can create a business, can't you? Definitely, definitely. Trust me, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I love that I love that so you you mentioned about joining Neil Jard Remedies and it I think when we had a conversation when you reached out to me it was kind of like oh well, this is this is what I've been looking for this is kind of the, the piece in the in the jigsaw puzzle that kind of creates the picture you know how do you what made you choose Neil Jard and how do you kind of envisage bringing that into Love Autumn Rose? So one thing that I've been looking to do with Love Autumn Rose is bring like essential oil based skincare. And for a little while, I was looking at a way that I could do that and a way that I could sort of bring that into the business. And I looked at sort of if it was something I could do myself. And to be honest, it was just out of the question. And even if I'd have tried to, it would have probably gone quite badly. So I always, I choose Neil's Yard Remedy products myself before I'd been to the shop in Covent Garden. And I like the products, but I didn't know that they actually had a direct selling side at all so I was sort of just looking into different ways that I could sort of bring essential oil based skincare and it just popped up on my Facebook one day when I was scrolling through the day of the direct selling program and I thought you know what this could work especially because I'd used the products myself and knew that they was really good I thought this could work really well so I looked into it a little bit more and that's when I reached out to you and sort of asked for information about it all and I like the fact that there isn't like those pressures and the fact that I know that there are some companies out there that are like oh you can only sort of focus on our company but with Neil Shell's Remedy they're supportive of the fact that I have my little business they're supportive of the fact that I'm going to incorporate it into my little business and yeah it just it just aligns so well. Click, didn't it? <laughs> it really did the perfect fit. Totally so with anybody out there um who's not necessarily doing Neil Jard remedies. So just somebody out there with a dream that's, you know, wants to start their own business. What advice would you give that person, whether it's doing something like what you've done, like set up a, a crystal and a, and a beautiful business um, or a direct selling business? What advice would you give somebody that's out there thinking, don't, don't know if it's for me. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I've got the time. Oh, I'm scared. What, what would you say to those people? I'd say go for it because if I can do it, anyone can do it. I'd say take that first step because that's the hardest part is taking that first step and then go from it from there like with Love Autumn Rose when I first started it it was probably the plainest website it looked like something from when the internet was first invented it was just literally a white page with products so I think you learn as you go and even with me no business experience and just sort of learning as I go building things up gradually and I'd say go for it because it can be done and I believe in I believe in anyone that wants to do it yeah do you know what I've found that because um I've got a business membership group and in there I teach like basic business skills to get a business up and running uh, for women in their the health the well-being the beauty industry that either want to get started maybe they're a nail tech or maybe they are into Reiki or crystal healing or maybe even somebody that's working with a skincare brand whether it's Neil Jard or another one that really wants to make a success of a direct selling business it's one of the things that I found people will come into me saying oh it, we don't know where to get the right information I don't really know how to do Canva I don't know how to market I don't know how to brand I don't know what to do first you know all that kind of stuff so a little bit like all the things that you learn and had to go and find out about and research that's kind of part of part of what I do in my business is helping women make make their lives easier yeah. you know give them a really clear sort of uh, pathway to go on in and how to achieve their dream and and how to get that business up and running so everything that you're saying completely resonates there are women out there and men out there that you know have felt stuck in in whatever their that you know the situation in their life is you know stuck in a job they don't like or maybe the kids have left home and they they feel like oh what do I do now what's my purpose and you know they're sat on the sofa in the evening thinking oh what am I going to do with my life is this it and you know actually getting a, a business up and running something like what you've done something like what I do is so kind of rewarding and fulfilling mm -hmm. isn't it? It really is. And the one thing that I've got, the main thing that I've got for my business is it's boosted my self-confidence so much because seeing that I can grow something like this, it's just made me have 
that more belief in myself and that stronger passion as well. Like since then I've done further courses, learned as much as I can learn. And it's embraced my passion a lot more and also boosted me up. Like in the past, I'd never go on camera. I'd be like hiding away in the shadows, but it's it's increased my confidence and my self-belief in myself, which is the biggest thing for me. It it's amazing. And I, again, I can resonate with that because... If you'd have seen me maybe 10 years ago, you know, I, I wasn't who I am now. I was a different version of myself and I had to go through a lot of self-development as well. Um, and I'm a true believer that, you know, even if you are not really sure what your dream is and you've got a business idea or you're doing a business, but you can't quite yet see the big picture, keep learning, keep getting inspired by you know, being in business groups, following certain people on social media, going onto YouTube, because I don't know about you, but I've always, I'm always seeing little golden nuggets in places. Yes, I'm thanks. like, oh God, you know, that's amazing. Why don't I do something like that? Yes. Um, yes. So you can really be inspired um, by learning in life, you know, without worrying about what is the outcome of the learning? You know, what am I going to get at the end of it? But just enjoying the journey of learning and, and self-development. Definitely it really does kind of um, help with self-worth and help with self-esteem and therefore help with confidence, doesn't it? 100%, 100%. So tell me a little bit more about your nominations and the awards because, like, there's not many people that I've met, to be fair, that have have this, what you've got going on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about the awards and and the nominations, how they came around when you when you kind of got the information or the email to say this is what's happening nikki blah 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 blah, how did it make you feel and then what comes from that what what's the ripple effect that comes from that sure so um it, it was literally just logging into my email and then i saw an email from women's business club saying you've received a nomination and at first i thought this has got to be some sort of joke like at the time my business it was gradually getting there but it wasn't like fully sort of there there were still things that I knew that I needed to work on so when I first got that nomination I was just in disbelief I was just looking at it and I was like how did this happen and yeah from there like getting featured in the sun in that's life magazine it's all just surreal to be honest like a part of me still thinks pinch me and I'm gonna wake up and yeah all of these have you got them in frames <laughs> yeah I've literally got the that's life one on my wall I can't do it for me but yeah it's on my wall <laughs> that's amazing and do you feel it's changed you anyway do you feel like it's given you even more fire in your belly to like keep pursuing your dream or oh 100 percent, yeah like it's boosted my confidence so much like I'd say from about say two years ago to me now it's completely different like my confidence in the fact that I have achieved this and I've done the things like been nominated for these awards been featured in magazines been featured in newspapers I'm like I'm just like a different person like my confidence has improved so much and my self-belief because I'm like if I can do this I can do so many things that I want to do like having that self-belief in myself absolutely absolutely so what's your dream going forward what what are your goals what are your plans what would you like to 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 achieve over maybe the next year or so and then into the future what what's what's the big goal um one day I would love Love Autumn Rose to be a well-established business that's out there and that people go to to get that education on crystals essential oils sp spirituality holistic to a place that people sort of know of and a well-known sort of brand that would be my dream going forward and just for more people to get that support when it comes to spirituality when it comes to crystals and just to have that yeah just to help people really and just for more people to understand how crystals and essential oils can benefit them I love it I love your story I think it's <laughs> so inspiring and I think um don't ever underplay that you're just an NHS secretary <laughs> um because I've I've felt that in the past I'm just a beauty therapist yeah. what would I know you know yeah. um, that's, that's what held me back quite a while because I'm thinking I'm just like just a South East London secretary who would take me serious in business and yeah I mean it's been the best thing I've ever done so proud of you so proud of you, you. It's amazing. I love your story I love your 
I love your journey and I honestly wish you so much success. Thank um, you. I hope that obviously now we're working together with Neil Shard Remedies. I hope that we're going to enjoy a nice friendship over the years. Oh, definitely. I can personally watch you grow Thank and you. develop your business even further and be kind of be a cheerleader uh clapping you along so thank you so much for joining thank me thank you bless you just one final thing one final <laughs> word of wisdom anybody watching this that's watched your story and they're kind of interested in getting a business up and running what is the one tip one tip you would give them to get them um... I would say um, to just go for it because there's so many sort of hurdles that make you think, okay, I can't do this. Like when I first started, there was little problems with sort of getting the website set up, little things that I was getting really frustrated with. And I was thinking, is this my sign telling me not to do this? And I sort of just pushed past little things that were going on and kind of was like, no, I need to sort of do it for myself. I need to make this happen sort of thing so I would say just go for it do your best and then anything that sort of you don't feel comfortable with you can learn on the way because taking that first step is the big sort of thing love it just go for it fantastic yep. thank you so much for all Thanks your very beautiful much. words of wisdom and joining me this evening and uh for anybody that watches this whether you share this video or we share it in the team group or on social media i really hope that they connect with you and be part of your ongoing story thank you all right you take care and i will see you soon see you soon bye, bye.